Hello and welcome. My name's Tina. This is Simply in Stitches. In this video, we're going to be looking at this book called Knitted Animal Friends by Louise Crowther. I have chosen this to do a project over December. And so I thought we'd look at the book in a little more depth so you can see if you're interested in knitting something too. This is not a sponsored video. This is just something that I've seen that I really fancied having a go at. I thought it'd be fun if you joined in as well. So there's lots of different animals in here. So let's take a look and see what there is. So on the front, it says over 40 knitting patterns for adorable animal dolls, their clothes and accessories. And that's what drew me to it as well, because not only do the dolls look really good, but they also have such adorable clothes to wear, which I thought would be fun, especially because they can be changed seasonally. And I was hoping to use some of my scraps from other projects to make up their little clothes because they won't take much will they so i thought we'd just have a little flip through so you can see we've got a little dress on the hedgehog and the mouse has got a little cardigan and blouse then we've got the squirrel and the owl and they're just a couple of guys about town so you've got a cool dude as the owl and then the squirrel's got his little shorts on and he's got a top with a knitted tie on it as well <laughs> waistcoat I love their little shoes as well. I think the clothes bring out their character as well more. What do you think? Then we've got the cat and the ram. A couple of little jumpers there. And obviously changing the colours. I think I'm going to make mine a lady fox. She can still wear shorts in the summer. Because we do wear shorts. <laughs> she can wear what she likes and be proud. So here they are naked, so you can see how they're actually constructed. So they've got very long legs. I think the bodies are basically the same, it's the heads and things that are different. So let's look at them one by one. So this is George the dog. And he's got a nice pair of jeans on by the looks of it, looking all casual. And the pattern instructions, there's full instructions with photos as well. I have heard that the actual doll patterns are easy to follow, but the clothes ones can be harder. So there is some knitting in the round and knitting flat. So when I come to do them, we are, I'll find out. So this is Bella, the cat. The recommended yarn for the body is Sheep is Stone Washed, and that's um, cotton and acrylic bend. So it's a little more than a four ply, but a little less than a DK. But I think some people have been doing it in DK, but I'm going to have to research that. There's the detailing on her cardigan look. It's so beautiful. I really like that. Then we've got Noah the horse. And then it's Dorothy the mouse. She's so sweet, isn't she? Got a little knickerbockers on and she's got little dolly shoes on there as well. And once again, the detailing on her little clothes. It's beautiful. Ah, so she, my little foxy is supposed to be a little girl. She's called Charlotte the Fox. And there she is. She's got her coat on and a handbag over her shoulder, ready to go somewhere. I wonder where she's going to go. And then Archie the squirrel, who looks very much like the fox, but with a tail on the back. <laughs> it's a beautiful book to just flick through. Then Holly the hedgehog. I really like Holly as well. I think she's sweet. She's got a little dress on. She looks like she's got a little bubble perm on, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> and she's got that down her back as well as you would if you're a hedgehog and then Maisie the pig she's got beautiful shoes isn't she very coordinated and she's got a little curly tail at the back 
once again shows you how to do the little dress or the details and a little cardigan as well I wouldn't mind that cardigan myself very nice Stanley the raccoon so it looks like he's got his tr trainers on isn't he Tilly the hare and she's got the most amazing cardigan with carrots on depending on how I get on in December I might have to do a bunny for Easter well a hair oh and she's got a little bobtail sticking out the back of her dress then got Amelia the duck looking like she should be in the south of France just swanning around the beach <laughs> she's quite sort of French looking then we've got Harry the ram He's very impressive, isn't he? And then Louis, the owl. He's got a lovely coat. That colour, it makes you look, think of those waterproof coats, doesn't it? And he's got a lovely cable jumper as well that he wears. As I say, you can do these in whatever colour you like, can't you? And then it's got a shoes and accessories section. Shows you how to knit up the shoes and all the accessories. I say you got those sweet little dolly shoes and also like the little trainers. Got their little knickers. <laughs> there they are on the line with their shoes. And then there's technique section showing you how to do certain things to get the best result. On these sort of things, it's always the face needs to be right, doesn't it? Because just putting the face in slightly different can go from being quite se severe to being friendly. <laughs> There's also some basic knitting techniques, but I would say if you can't knit, then this is not the book to start with, is it? You need to have a few projects under your belt first. As I say, I'm, I'm completely new to toy making. I've not made toys. The little alpaca behind me is crocheted and that was crocheted by my mum for me. So I have no experience whatsoever. Also, it's got a little bit of colour work help. So you can, if you're a bit stuck or want to look to see how to do things, is that there? So, that is the Knitted Animal Friends book. I hope you've enjoyed flicking through it. I'm definitely going to be spending time looking at this and fingers crossed, I shall be having a nice little foxy knit by the new year. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Please check out my other videos. Enjoy your knitting and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.